couple of chucks. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, 400 I have. 400 to 425. 400 to 425. 425. It's okay to make it. 450 bits. I mean, look at this. 475. We're getting 475. 500 to 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 It's all for charity, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Item number six is next. It's a very, very elegant piece. The bird in a gilded cage, I call it. Oh. I have an art deck we call it. What do you call it? That's the question. Okay. I'm going to give you a break on this one. Who'll start the bidding at $5? Five dollars. Five dollars I have. Okay, I have five. Look at ten. Who bid ten now? Five bid ten? Five, look at ten. Who go to ten? Do I have the ten? I have ten in the back. All the way in the back. I have fifteen in front. Fifteen bid twenty. Twenty in the back. Twenty bid twenty-five. We'll go to twenty-five. Twenty-five on the right-hand side. Twenty-five bid thirty. Who go to thirty? Thirty in the back, thank you. Thirty bid thirty-five. Look at the 35 now with 30 bit 35. I have 35 in front. 35 bit 40. Who'll go 40? I have 40 in the middle. 40 bit 45. It's a man who has elegant taste. I have 50 in the back. 50 bit 55. Who'll go to 55 now? Do I have 55? 55 on the aisle. 55 bit 60. 55 bit 60. He is obviously getting good advice from his folks around him. 55 bit 60. Look at the 60 and 60 in the back. 60 bit 65. Do I have 65? 65 I have. He's hanging in there. 65 bit 70. I have 65. Do I have 70 now? 70 I have? Yes. She wants it badly. 70 I have? Do I have 75? Don't let her get it. 75, 75, get 80. Do I have 80 now? I have 75. 80, yes. 80, but 85. Who got 85? 80, 85, yes. 90 in the back. Do I have 95? 90. you're sitting with Robert? Oh, he understands. Besides, I'm going to see him later on tonight after the auction. He asked me to wait up for him at the apartment. Wait up? What's he going to be doing? Oh, I guess he's going to be working on something for Alex and Edward Porter. Me, but he thinks he's going to get that bonus tonight. Tonight? After the auction? Yeah. Strange hour. Right. Uh, no. Anybody at 30? Who's going to 30? This is a charity auction. 30 to open. Anybody at 30? $30? How come no nobody's bidding on that? Everybody bid on that ugly thing a minute ago. <laughs> what is wrong with these people? Don't they realize this is for charity? Well, I think that the wealthier people are probably waiting to be, you know, more expensive. Who goes that? I have 10 now. 10 bid 15. Who bid 15? 10 bid 15? I have 10. 15, thank you. 15 bid 20. Who goes 20? 15 look for 20. Do I have 20 now? Well, I think you just got off the hook. I think so. Just when I needed another pause. And I guess that's for sure. I sure hope that Jeremy's you know, his little painting. Yeah. See it? Yeah, I hope that that's going to go for more than that. But I guess everybody's going to try to bid up the price. Huh? <laughs> Our friend, the artist. I bet he'll feel like a, like an immortal painter if it goes to $20. 35 once, 35 twice, and sold for 35. <laughs> Sorry it took so long. Thank you. Are you thirsty? I am. I'm just, I'm parched from terror. I just bid the most enormous amount of money on the last item, ten whole dollars. <laughs> yes, fortunately, somebody got her off the hook. Uh -huh. Well, I'm glad, Leslie. Um, it's quite a sum. Oh, hey, last of the big time spenders you got here, kid. Listen, I mean, seriously, are these items going for such absurdly low amounts? Well, the final bid was $35. The thing about a charity auction is that sometimes the donations really aren't worth very much. It doesn't matter. 
though, because the hospital is grateful for every dollar. Yeah, and the people like to feel that they've been a part of it all. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. You know the idea that I like? Somebody, they don't know who, donated a whole batch of shopping bags and printed on it, thank you for your donation to General Hospital. That's going to come in handy. Yes, well, I'm sure that'll be very useful. Look, can we all have a seat, maybe? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now take bids on item number four. Hey, that's mine. Oh, you're number four, huh? I don't think anybody's going to bid on you. Oh, very oh, funny, Joe. That's right. You have a watercolor box in there. Yes. Okay, you guys. Okay. Item number four is a watercolor by a young local artist, Jeremy Hewitt Logan. See? Look at my name. Famous in one day. See? Oh. Hey, we start the bidding, please. Who'll start the bidding at? Five dollars. Do I see a bit of time? No. Five dollars. That's pretty Honey, steep. Maybe we better start the bidding. I guess we can go five dollars for an original Jeremy Hewitt Logan. I have five dollars. Five dollars I have. Do I have ten? Come on, you guys. Come on, hurry up. Here's my two. Oh. And mine. Okay. Come on, Claudia, hurry up. You don't have to add it up right now. I know that, but we have to make sure just in case the bidding gets higher. Come on, we only got two. Uh, look, people, we're missing two dollars. Uh, Bryant, where's your two dollars? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> That's a ten. Ten dollar bid I have. I have it now. I'm asking for twenty. We'll make it twenty. <laughs> Do I have bid 20? The gentleman bids $20. Thank you. 20 and a half. Yeah. 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 Well. 25. Oh. 25. Do I have 25? Yes, 25 I have. 25 now, we'll go to 30. $30 I have. What you have to remember, folks, is that in the early stages of development, the creative explosion is shown in this kind of wonderful use of color. It is uh, reminiscent of some of the great masters in their best periods. Picasso. <laughs> Look at that Quartermain dame. She wants bodyguards. She's always sending us off. Must be the low profile bit, I guess. I'm gonna take a walk outside for a while. Okay, just a little bit. situation. After all, he's dealt with Cassidyne men before. Oh, but that's what I wanted to tell you. Cassidyne's here. You mean in this hall? Yes. Well, why didn't you tell me before? Well, how could I tell you you were sitting over there with Lila? Well, where is the man? He's over there sitting with Leslie Weber. Evidently, he's the new man in their life, and he calls himself Tony Castle. I am stunned. How did he manage to infiltrate Port Charles society the way he has? What I want to know is how did he get interested in Leslie Weber? There's just no accounting for taste, is there? I mean, she just doesn't seem like the kind of woman that would appeal to Tony Cassidyne.